is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Alan Homosassa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a 50 percent return in one day not counting uh, everything else but I just want to thank you Tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Bruce and you'll hit a home run I mean a big home run yeah and put the money in your pocket okay I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. August 30th, folks, kicking into September. You got to love it. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. In every kiss and every touch, you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up seven, NASDAQ up 157, S&P's up 27, gold contract down seven dollars, trading 18.12 an ounce. We got silver up four cents, 24 dollars, one cent an ounce. Light sweet crude up 34 cents, 69 dollars, eight cents a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 7 ticks, trading out at 134.03. 30-year up 16 at 16 ticks, that is, at 165 flat and king dollar. King dollar down 7 ticks, trading out at 92.678. Euro 118, yen 109.90, and the British pound at 137 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. I'm telling you, man, it's, we'll, we'll go over this, but it is bizarre. There's no two ways about it. Bottom line, what we had on Friday, folks, is this. Friday, uh, now, first off, let's go, let's go back to actually uh, last Wednesday. So we hit a high last Wednesday, and you did it with light volume. So it's very easy to take the B point out of an ABC structure on the way up when you do it light volume. But what I've found is that it is what it is, man. And when you take it out... Guess what? They like to do these ABCs. You get an ABC up inside the SPY. You know, the B point out here is uh, 449.45. Um, the A is uh, 436. So what did I say? 440. Yeah, so you got approximately 14 points. And 46, 56, 60, 460. 460, the SPY wants to go here at 452. We take a look at the NDX 100, which has been continuing to do an ABC structures on the way up. That did the same thing. Bottom line, took out the B point, and we had, uh, what, 27 million shares versus 20 million shares. Your B point there is 375. Your A point is 359. So this is a big one. It's like a 15 point A to B, seven, which gets you 385. 385 to 386. So um, the bottom line, it wants to go. Now, there's a question that... Uh, let's see that at what point does the probability of a failed patent emerge? Um, it seems that uh, we've pressed these uh, trades many times. What I've found, this is, and there's, it's, there's no doubt, man. I mean, there's no doubt. What happens in an ABC market is this. It's an ABC market up until it's not. <laughs> That's, you know, I saw the biggest one I've ever seen was uh, AMAT and LAM Research. I was trading both of them and... This was in 1998, and this was an ABC market up, I believe, it lasted about 14 months, you know. So we'll, we'll see how this works out in the indices. We've been going qu for quite some time. There's no two ways about it. Um, today, you know, you take a look at Apple, you're going to see uh, the bottom line is that, you know, this is a consolidation, and it's ripping apart this consolidation. I mean, in a monster way. Uh, you got an expansion of volume out here. 
We got uh, 74 million shares now. It's not going to take it out on a week, on a daily, but on a weekly, if we kept getting volume in this equity, uh, you very well could have an ABC up. And if you do, it's, it's a decent ABC structure on the way up. Uh, after the close out here today, we're going to have Zoom come out with uh, their numbers. Zoom right now. Uh, where are we? So, that's interesting. So, ZTNO, new, they, got a, they got a new ticker. That's interesting. Okay, so Zoom, no, what is going on here? Zoom technology. It's telling me that, no, this is not right. I see what's going on. One second. Give me one second here. That is strange. Z, here we go. Here we go. Now I got it. Okay. So ZM. Uh, so the low for Zoom is 273. The high is 580, 588. It's trading 347. You got, uh, they're going to be looking to take in 990 million and take a dollar 16 to the bottom line. When you take a look at these growth numbers, the growth numbers are astronomical, folks. On a three year basis, they're growing by 32% a year in the Americas. They're growing by uh, almost 50% of the year um, in the rest of the world. So it, it is a monster number. We uh, take a look at this technically. Yeah, wants higher price, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th this looks to me like you still want higher price, you know. So your last uh, swing points out here. So you've come down. We've come down f from 588. That was going all the way back to October of, of 2020. And right now we, uh, yeah, this looks to me like you're going to try to run to 404. And right now you're at uh, 387. Let's go to the good old dollar. We take a look at the dollar. What we, did, what we had last week, folks, is that you had two separate signs of strength inside of the gold and silver market. It was on Monday as well as Friday. You had the metal move as well as the equities move with volume and with wide price spread. Uh, the, the dollar is on the verge of breaking its uptrend. Uh, now, uh, if we get this break, I want to see this break on conviction. What we have out here today is that, yeah, you have it underneath the line, but... Um, to me, when you break a, a trend line, I like to see conviction. What conviction would be is wide price spread. Um, you can see we're right, at, we're right at the trend line right now. The trend line is 92, 699, and we're at 92, 6, 6, uh, 98. Bottom line, I, to me, I, you get the gist of it. I, I want to see a bigger break with wide price spread. That, that's, that's, the real, that's the real bottom line. We go into the note and bond market, and this is unbelievable. This is, just, this is as unbelievable as the ABC structures on the way up inside the NDX 100, folks. And that's these notes and bonds want higher price, lower yield. That's the bottom line. Uh, the 10 year right now, I suspect it's going to go for the highs again. The highs that we're talking about is 135.34, which was generated out here on August 4th. That's how this baby is set up right now. And um, looking at this market, inflation's here, folks. Hey, that's, that's, my, that's my take on the whole thing. You're going to have higher numbers, but the bottom line is that when we start seeing what some of these bills are coming in at, it's going to cost us a lot more money for anything and everything that we're buying. Dow Industrial's down three, NASDAQ's up 153, S&P's are up 26. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 8. We get the NASDAQ up 157. S&Ps are up 26. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under... Featured content, you can hit subscribe. You can get Steve's newsletter for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. You can get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You get everything to win, zero to lose. If you like the newsletter, it works for you, great. You'll be charged. If it doesn't work for you, no problem. You get your money back at the end of 30 days. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, I think I need to listen to my local news a little more often, meaning that uh, uh, I think it was on Friday. I knew that there was a storm, like a tropical storm brewing. But then when I woke up Sunday morning, it was like a class four hurricane. Yeah. It was, uh, so we, you and I, we dodged a bullet, certainly. Yes. Um, I haven't seen I haven't seen the destruction that was done uh, in in uh, Louisiana and so forth. Have you have, have you seen much of what's I know everybody lost power, but I haven't seen just how bad it was. Yeah, or I guess was that the, bad. the lucky thing is that when it really hit landfall, Louisiana has a lot of, you know, country. OK, so, yes, it got yes. that. But it, it, it's going to be billions. That's the bottom line. It's it's. You know, and as yeah. you know, Tommy and I were at Katrina 16 years ago. Right. Oh, you know, that's right. Yeah. And so, of course, we watch, and we were in Hurricane Bob, too. <laughs> so, <laughs> we know hurricanes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's and kind of interesting you, you, yesterday. You know what you can tell, folks? You know, it's interesting is that one of the, the news guys, they were, um, they were in between a building. And, yes. you know, that guy there, there's no doubt, if he walked outside the building, he would have been, like, gone, Okay. Then there was another yeah. guy that was saying, hey, you know, and the wind was getting them. I'm, I'm looking, I'm saying to myself, okay, hold on. That wind hasn't hit there yet because I, I, you know, sure. when, when Bob hit the Cape, Tommy, Caitlin, and, my, and myself, we were, we were out. And then we were, so we were under our kitchen table, folks. It was so bad. I mean, when we, woke, when we get up, I mean, there was nothing left. There was no houses. The fronts of houses sure. were gone. Uh, wash machines were, you know, three blocks away. I mean, it was, you get, you're getting a good hurricane, man, and... You know, you're done. There's, there's no doubt that you have to, you know, you start getting up in these class three, four, oh. five, obviously. I mean, you just have to get out of the way. There's no, you know, you, you have time. You have to, to get, get out, out of the way. 
Yeah, yeah no absolutely, doubt. absolutely. Well, we're in the uh, we're in the hurricane seasonal cycle, so to speak, and we are in our 86 year seasonal cycle as well. But if we take a look at this pattern, which you and I do, or this chart out here, uh, we can see that we're well above the July 21st high out there. So the question is, are the markets is this is this like an inversion? Are the markets moving higher into October? Because at this stage here, at the moment, they're not moving lower into October, or are they? Is the question. So here, Tom, that, if I take that uh, that chart that we looked at went back about 80 years. This uh, table here goes back to 1970, so still 50 years worth of data. And it's clear. I saw some folks talking about this on the uh, media channels today. If we take a look at September, absolutely, over the last 50 years, the worst performing month. In other words, when I take a look at this table here, what this represents is the odds of September closing higher than August. So this is a base. This is on a closing basis. It's just about 37 percent. So it's the weakest month. Everybody knows September is the weakest month. If we take a look at the Dow and all of what I'm taking a look at here, most of what we're looking at, Tom, is for the Dow. So if I take a look at the daily time frame picture for the Dow, it has what I like to call a sell the D point pattern, an A to B equals CD that was confirmed with a bearish reversal candle. In this case here, it was a bearish sash right where my cursor is at. And not until that level gets taken out, which is the all time high that we have here in the Dow, will that pattern fail. So there still is a sell pattern or sell signal that is inside the Dow. And that could suggest to move lower into October. When I take a look at the horizontal trading ranges, so this is courtesy, in essence, of Bud Rolfs, who taught us about primary trading ranges. This is done slightly different than his because I was able to automate these. And this takes a look at each time frame chart and develops new horizontal trading ranges. And folks, what horizontal trading ranges are is the system goes and it takes a look at all the data. In this case here, this data goes back to 1997. And it looks for the largest number of opens or closes. And once it finds that level, it then looks for the next area. And that creates the distance or the space in between each of these horizontal trading ranges. And what's cool is this is a monthly time frame, by the way, that we're looking at. And we can see that the Dow is running right up into a resistance level, 35,644. Now, we use this as a guideline, not necessarily as right to the tick. But what we can say here is that the Dow is up at resistance at a time period as we're going into the weakest calendar month of the year, September. This happens to be the weekly time frame. So we just looked at the monthly. This is the weekly. On this chart here, Tom, there's some numbers or some digits right uh, to the right of price. Yes. And as an example, at 12,750 and at 10,670, so at 10,670, there's been 153 opens or closes right inside that range, not right to the T. I, I give it just a little bit of space on either side of that. But that, and, and then you've got uh, uh, 45, 48 different opens or closes at the 12, 750 level. So that's what creates that distance that, that creates these additional lines. Well, on a weekly time frame, we're up at resistance. Let's take a look at the daily. So the daily, we're now kind of in between ranges out here. So if in fact the highs the top that we have in place, that A to B equals CD pattern, gets taken out, then this would suggest that the uh, Dow would head up to the 36,511 area. But it hasn't done that yet, and we've got a valid topping pattern. Two weeks ago, the Dow also confirmed. Now, this is a weekly chart that we're looking at. So two weeks ago, and we had looked at the daily earlier, two weeks ago, the Dow confirmed a road momentum indicator top. That's where price moves higher, does with less relative energy, and then gets confirmed with a bearish reversal candle that we had three weeks ago. And we also had a TD9 count top. So there's two tops on the weekly chart, one top on the daily time frame chart. And the weekly would say if this top is going to take hold, price should pull back to either 33741 or 30014. So topping patterns exist. And therefore, um, we, we may now on, on the weekly chart, it's possible for price to go ahead and spike above the all time high. That's the thirty five six thirty one level that would still retain this TD nine count top. And that means then the following week, when we come back from the holiday. That's where we would determine whether or not the Dow is breaking out, because if the Dow can close above these topping signals, then that tells us that we're going to continue or should continue to move higher. One of the other things that we monitor are our TAS market profiles. And these are the TAS market profiles for the Dow Equity Future contract. The key levels out here of support are 34,949 and 34,392. So those would be levels to be watching for during the month of September. I also monitor the spot fix index, and this is a weekly time frame chart. And in this case, if we take a look, just simply come back to the 2007 top, just as an example, you can see we had rising volatility going into it. 
And if we take a look at where we're at now, I've taken this chart here and shown other instances, the bottom part is the S&P 500, where we've seen significant tops. The pattern that is in play as we speak right now is that same pattern. So we're going into a very weak month. We've got rising volatility on a weekly basis that says be careful out there. We've got weekly and daily topping signals. So I think September, Tom, is going to be a very, very interesting month. Yeah, there's no doubt. You know, and I heard you even last week starting to talk about you might have an inversion or we might have an inversion. So this yeah. is going to be intriguing, man, in, in general, right? I mean, I tell you what I don't like. Uh, the best thing I think for the markets is we pull back into October. Yes. Because no, no, we've I'm had like a that. couple of October highs that are pretty significant. So, no. And folks, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right under featured content, Master and Probability. Steve, you have a great one, safe one. We Thanks, look forward so. to show tomorrow. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 14. NASDAQ's up 147. You get the S&Ps up 25. Uh, let's go look at the small caps, man. Those small caps, so what you had on Friday, folks, is that small caps take off top side. That's when you had the dollar go south. Uh, bottom line, what that did is that that allowed the commodity equities to run big time, and they did. When I say the commodity equities, uh, what happens in the, in the Russell uh, 2000, folks, okay, there's a huge amount of mining equities, a huge amount of oil and gas equities, okay, and that's what you, you got out there. Now, the, the IWM is in an ABC up all the, all, also. The uh, B point out here is approximately a 224. The A point is 210. So you get approximately, let's say, 14. The C point 
is 2.1974, so we're talking, what, uh, 2.20, 2.34, approximately 2.33. And the highs that are out here are 2.33. So we're going to the highs inside this IWM. That's the way that baby is set up, you know, because what we do have is that you have the gold contract uh, in an ABC structure on the way up. You have the XAU, the HUI. They both also got uh, signs of strength. They're not ABC structures on the way up, but they definitely got two separate signs of strength last week as the dollar got two separate signs of weakness. Uh, uh, the way the dollar is set up is that we're on the verge of breaking that uh, uptrend that we've been in since May. If we go take a look at the euro, uh, because, of course, if the, if the dollar, if the dollar is going to break that, uh, we're going to see the euro higher. Today, it's slightly higher. We're up uh, just six ticks. Uh, it's peaking its head out here. We go look at the British pound. Uh, the euro is the largest weighting structure inside the dollar. The euro is 60 percent of it. Uh, we take a look at the British pound. The British pound's just flat. And then we go look at the yen. And, of course, inside the yen, where the yen goes, when that gets stronger, the gold gets weaker. And the yen has a sideways move out here today. Uh, we, the yen was uh, 110.27. On Friday, right now, you're at 109.90. And we'll see whether it can make its way down to this uh, 108.72 area. Inside the Dow Industrials today, the strength versus the weakness. Point-wise, what we have, uh, it's going to be Apple, I suspect, right? Yeah, Apple's putting 30 positive points. Home Depot, 25. Microsoft, 23. Uh, taken away from it. Goldman Sachs, minus 20, minus 41, rather. Uh, American Express minus 27, Bo Bo Boeing minus 21, and J.P. Morgan minus 15. A uh, lot of action uh, just about everywhere out here, folks. If we go take a look at the 30-year, uh, and we're going to have, well, so USU, USZ, was this U still? Yeah, U still in action. Okay, so if we take a look at the 30-year, um, this, this wants the ties also. In fact, the 30-year didn't pull back as much as the 10-year. The 30-year... Got to 163.11, where the swing point was 162.17. 30-year wants higher price also. 30-year wants to run up to that 167.04, which is pretty amazing. There's no two ways about that. Um, now, what we have here is this, folks, okay? You have your, you're coming into window dressing. We're coming into the Labor Day weekend. Um, bottom line, we'll see how this baby shakes out. Uh, you know, what does get intriguing, there's no doubt, was the first question that I answered and it's the, it's the aspect of, you know, when do these ABC structures finish and when will there be a failure? Because there will be. That's, that's the real bottom line. And it's going to be at this area here that you want to look at it in, in, a, in a large way. The reason being is this. Here, let me, let me pull this up so you can see how this shakes out. There's two different things that happen here. I've, I've found that, you know, okay, so you can see... First off, the Qs had made a high, and they made a high with volume that contracted dramatically. Okay, that being said, and I've seen it before, that then you pull back, and you hardly pull back at all, and then you take that high out. Well, it is an ABC structure in the way up, no doubt. I've seen them fulfill the whole deal when this happens. That being said, however, uh, what we have right now is that we have one down draft day from July 8th with volume. The second down draft day is from the 19th of July with volume. The next down draft day is on the August 19th that also has volume. What I've found, and you've heard many of us, many of you guys and, and women have heard me say this, the market seems to me always gives you three shots to get out. And they might, and what I mean by that, is that, you know, you downward volume, you back up with light volume, downward volume, back up with light volume, downward volume, back up with light volume. That, you have to pay attention to that. Because at some point, we're going to come back to those levels. So I'm work, walking through this exercise so you can see the, the larger picture. And that's the, that is the larger picture. But that's the larger picture until this ABC structure finishes. And, you know, what we, what we will get this week is that you're going to have a, have a contraction of volume, so it is going to, well, here, let, let, me, let me see how much the weekly is. I think the weekly, I don't think it's going to be do, able to do an ABC structure in the weekly because the weekly, I believe, is pretty heavy. Oh, actually, I see. Yeah, there's no way. It's a, it wouldn't be an ABC anyway. Yeah, because... 
Yeah, no, no. So we, we, got, we got over these highs last week, and we contracted dramatically, okay? So this is what we did, okay? Um, we got over the high. We hit 376.36 last Friday, right? 132 million shares, and it doesn't matter which, which bar we pull up here, meaning that, you know, you get four bars that are coming across. You get five bars that are coming across. One bar has uh, 206 million 140, 1147, 1190, and 1199. And with, so each one of them took it out with dramatically lighter volume. So it's a, it's a heads up. That, that's, that's the real bottom line, okay? Um, uh, let's go, let's see. We have Pelletier. Let's see. Uh, P L T R. This is, oh, 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 this is, oh, plant hair. Oh, this, yeah, this is, okay, <laughs> this is funny. This is going to be good. Okay, so plant hair, P-L-T-R, the lows $8.90, the highs 45 You're trading at $25.89 right now. And what we're talking about is that do we have an ABC structure in the way up? And let me see on the daily, 17 is the A, the B is 27.50. Where are you going? 20, yeah, 20. 2750 on the weekly one second sorry i put this on a weekly that's 2750 oh cool well okay now let's see this okay i see what i see what i see what the tag is doing here okay so now so 27.50 and 17. Okay, that's right. You're looking at that right. Yeah, cool. Okay. So the way this is set up, so your B point out here is 27.50 on a weekly. All right. You're going to need, on a weekly, you're going to need uh, 194 million shares traded. Uh, we did 226 million last week. That's exactly what you like to see when you are coming into a B point. That, that's the real bottom line. And my take on this equity anyway is that. Not that that is, wants to go back to 45 bucks. You know, it'll take a while. It's going to have to build some cause because it came down so hard. Uh, but that's that's the way that baby's looking. When you get, this is a, you know, you get a shooting star out here. It, it has a high volume high. They love to be retested, you know. That's how they shake out. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, uh, down 25. NASDAQ's up 143. S&P's up 24. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is uh, down 33. NASDAQ is up 141. S&Ps are up 23. And I want to thank uh, Jeff, one of our Tigers in the Den, uh, for bringing this up. Now, this is pretty wild, folks, okay? We'll see whether this uh, actually gets any traction. Uh, but you had the new SEC head, uh, Gensler, bottom line in Barron's this weekend, saying that uh, payment for auto flow is on the table. Uh, he added that the SEC has reviewed the practice of payment for auto flow and could have proposals in the coming months. Uh, payment for auto flow, folks, okay, has been a huge deal inside of the market forever, okay? Just so, th let me give you an idea. You know, the headline news here has the aspect of Robin Hood, okay? But it's just not Robin Hood. I'm going to walk you through how, whether it's Fidelity or any large fund works. The way it works is this. When there's orders that come in, Okay, so so picture you get that, that's just picture. And I'm not picking on Fidelity. This would be, we could use anyone. We could use, let's use Fidelity Schwab. Let's use all of them. Okay, this is how it works. We have an order, and the order goes in. As that order goes in, they have another subsidiary. Okay, that the bottom line is that that goes to now in Fidelity's case and Schwab's play case, it's their own. Okay, the bottom line is that that's going over there, and the bottom line they are getting paid for that order flow. So internally. They can bake, basically get this thing going, and it's been happening forever, okay? That, that's, that's like the hidden deal, okay? So, and it's billions and billions of dollars. So I suspect, number one, it is going to be really tough for them to basically pull that off because you are going to see lobbyists, lobbyists come out of the woodwork on this deal in an incredible way, okay? Um, we'll see where that shakes out. It's amazing to me that, that Robin Hood is actually not getting hit a lot more than it is because they definitely do um, depend on the auto flow because of the aspect that it's such a retail marketplace, okay? And, and it's, it's monster numbers. Let me see. I, I believe they, they might. I'm not sure they break it out. No, they don't break it out. Okay. And bottom line, it, it is a, it's a very large number. Uh, so we'll see where the rest of this goes, but uh, it's a big deal. Another thing that came out uh, over the weekend, uh, this was pretty cool, but, and I'm going to walk you through this one because this is, this, is, this is John Paulson. So John Paulson, folks, okay, he had the biggest shot in the housing market, made a lot of money in the housing market, meaning shotting uh, the bonds. They were, they were, there's an interview on with David Rubenstein on Bloomberg. That's, if you, it's, it's a good interview. You should listen to it if you have some time. Um, and it's so the, the bottom line is that what I've seen anyway in the investment business in general, folks, okay, there's very few people that are like the Bridgewaters of the world that have had a consistent record over the course of years, okay? People make big scores and they have a hard time. And, you know, so you'll, you'll with Paulson, bottom line, he was, once he had that, um, he, I believe he made 11 million or 14 billion. Let me see. Okay, so here, let, let's get this straight. Uh, yeah, he made $20 billion. He made $20 billion on, on the shot, on the subprime mortgage, okay? Um, they were asking him, uh, you know, about the market in general and what he's thinking. He's saying that, listen, inside the credit default market, there's problems. That, that's number one. 
they were asking him about the aspect of, um, you know, does he think that what the uh, one of the hottest investments out there uh, that that he thinks have problems, and they were all the sparks. Okay, so he's saying the sparks are going to be big problems, and they, he thinks that most of them are going to be in losing positions. This one here, though, is the ultimate that. He's thinking that, well, cryptocurrencies are in a bu bubble that will eventually prove to be worthless. Worthless, okay, mind you. Now, listen to this, though. This is what's really cool. This is what I loved about the article. They were asking him, well, if it's going to be worthless, can't you go shot, you know, the market? And he was explaining that the, uh, okay, so, he, so what happened is this. After his big score, He peaked out um, with $38 billion in 2011. And then he didn't do too good. And it, all, it went down to basically $9 billion by 2019. So what he ended up doing was just end up opening a family office. Okay, so let me go through this. Okay, here it is here. Let's see. Oh, hey, this is it. He, the subprime trade was more than 10 years ago. Have you, have you or anyone else come up with something quite as good as that? I haven't found anything as asymmetrical as that particular trade. Asymmetrical, meaning you could lose a little bit on the downside, but essentially make 100 times your money on the upside. Most trades are symmetrical. You can make a lot, but you risk a lot, and if you're wrong, it hurts. That area today, but the area that's most mispriced today is credit. You have a current inflation that is well in excess of long-term yields, and there's a perception in the market that this is transitory. I think that they brought, they bought, they, I think they bought the federal line is that it's just temporary due to the restart of the economy, and that's eventually going to subside. However, if it doesn't subside, or it subsides at levels above the 2% the Fed is targeting, then ultimately interest rates will catch up with bonds, Bonds will fall. In that scenario, the various option traders related to bonds and interest rates, there are, no, let me just stay, I, sorry about that. There are various option strategies related to bonds and interest rates that could offer a very high return. Um, he goes into the aspect that he still loves gold. Uh, the bottom line is that he's saying the last time that gold went parabolic was in the, se was in the 1970s when it had a two-year, we had two years of double digits. The reason he's saying gold goes parabolic is that basically there's very limited amount. There's no doubt uh, it's on the order of $7 trillion, while the total amount of financial assets is closer to $200 trillion. I talk about, you know, that a lot, meaning that it's a very small market. So what happens in inflation is that as inflation pick picks up, people get try to get out of fixed income. They get into cash and a logical place in order to basically keep up with inflation ends up being gold. Because of the amount of money trying to move out of cash into fixed income, it dwarfs the amount of investable gold. That's where he sees that still going up and he's still a big believer in gold. Um, the cryptocurrency deal, and this is where this gets wild, okay? Um, I would say that cryptocurrencies are a bubble. I would describe them as a limited supply of nothing. So to the extent that there is demand, more demand than a limited supply, the price would go up. But to the extent that demand falls, then the price would go down. There's no intrinsic, intrinsic value to the cryptocurrencies except there's a limited amount. Cryptocurrencies, regardless of where they're trading today, will eventually prove to be worthless. Once the exuberance wears off, our liquidity dries up, they'll go to zero. I wouldn't re recommend anyone um, investing in them. Uh, and then Rubenstein asked him, well, if that's the case, why don't you put a big shot on it? And this is, so listen to this one. This is cool. The reason we shotted subprime in size was because it was asymmetrical. Shotting a bond at par that has a limited duration that trades at 1% at spread of treasuries. So you can't lose more than the spread in the duration. That's the key, folks. In crypto, there's unlimited downside. So even if I could be right over the long term. In the short term, I'd be wiped out because he is still saying there's unlimited upside also. So pretty cool um, in interview. Lowe's uh, Dow's are down 48. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we get a question that uh, is the uh, GDX uh, in an ABC store. Well, building cause to go to lower price, and it's not, uh, even on the weekly. So if we take a look at this on the weekly first, what you're going to see is this, is that on the weekly, uh, two weeks ago, we uh, we did uh, 107 million shares. We traded down to uh, $30.68. We were going into uh, 152 million. We did uh, 107. We rejected lower price. And then last week, you go topside with 130. That's how you come off bottoms. You test the lows. You do it with lighter volume, reject lower price. And then as soon as you come off, most of the time, you get some very fast moves. Uh, we got a very fast move on Monday as well as Friday last week, both with volume. Monday the, it was 34 million. Friday was 43 million. My take is that we hit a, we hit a low, we're at the low, and you are going to see a very fast move higher. I expect we're going to have a fast move higher first up to the highs of 35.82. You'll build some calls, then you're going to go up to the uh, 46. What you want to remember also is that if we take a look at this gold contract, uh, the gold contract is had one monster hammer. And the larger that a hammer is, and I've seen a few of these folks, okay, on a monthly basis, okay, this is a big signal. And that signal, I mean, it was about as good as you can get. The low of the month there was uh, 1692, the high was 1777, and we closed out at 1775. When you see something like that, they flushed everyone out, man. We're going higher, dollars going lower, inflation's here, uh, bottom line, we'll see. Uh, how this market handles it in a few more months. But 
My take is that we're on the road uh, up to higher price inside these metals markets, inside the commodities. Uh, Copper is going along with the deal also. Um, you're you're going to see it. You're going to see it everywhere. That's the bottom line. Once once it starts clicking off, and and it's real possible that the NDX 100 and the Nasdaq have already basically seen it, felt it, and that's what they're moving all about. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Ask them to come back. Visit us tomorrow. Tommy kicks us off. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.